Good morning, one and all. Today, I am speaking... Many, many million years ago, our mammalian ancestors developed a new brain feature, the neocortex. This small part of our brain controls higher order brain functions like cognition, sensory perception, and intelligence. Today, technology is trying to recreate this part not in living creatures, but in machines. Yes. I am speaking about artificial intelligence, from personal assistants like Siri, Alexa, to Tesla's self-driving cars, AI is everywhere. The greatest benefit of AI is greater accuracy and efficiency. AI can be utilized to perform time-consuming and repetitive tasks efficiently. End of boring labor is good news. Humans can focus on the creative tasks instead. Artificial intelligence can be used to explore hostile environments like space or depths of oceans, which may not be conducive to human beings. The scope and list of benefits is endless. But is there any promises of AI? In the movie Spider-Man, Spider-Man's uncle Ben famously said, with great power comes great responsibility. This is certainly true of AI. The number one downside to AI is the loss of jobs by the lesser skilled workers from various industries. The concept of driverless cars could displace millions of human taxi drivers very quickly. Artificial intelligence also carries the risk of a handful of nations taking control of the entire world. Humans can take unique circumstances into account before making a decision. AI lacks this use of judgment. Can the risks posed by AI be completely eliminated? The short answer is no, but they are manageable. Increasing access to education and retraining people for new jobs that aren't eliminated will help limit the impact of job loss. In keeping AI research and advancements open sourced and available to all will prevent abuse of power by developed countries. A control system to shut AI down will give better control over AI. There is no doubt that AI augments and empowers human intelligence. But as rightly said by Stephen Hawking, computers will overtake humans with AI within the next 100 years. When that happens, we need to make sure that the computers have goals aligned with us. Thank you.